One of the best things about PhotoRAW is just how easy it is to make a dull image come to life. Let's take this photograph for example. With this photo, it may look good with the black and white applied to it. So to apply style really quickly, I can head over to my newly revamped preset panel and I'll add a black and white preset. And aside from adding style really quickly, we can always go back in and readjust it to fit our photograph. So I'll head into my effects tab here and I'm going to modify this glow filter a little bit. I'm going to go to my mode and just choose multiply so that it's a little bit darker. And we can always add more filters. So I'm going to add another filter and I'll add my curves filter. And I'm going to bring in a faded matte look by pulling up on my black point. And then I'll lower my shadows and I'll just give it a little bit of a mid-tone boost. Perfect. So now we've taken that dull image and we've brought it to life using different styles. Well, that's not all we can do inside Photo Raw to help our images out. New to Photo Raw 2020 is the all new weather filter, which allows us to bring lifelike weather overlays onto our shots. So I'm gonna add a filter and I'll add the all new weather filter. So now inside this weather filter, I'm gonna go into my textures and I'm gonna choose this accumulation one. And that's gonna add some nice snow to my shot. I'm gonna modify the opacity a little bit and just raise it up a hair. Then I'm gonna head down to my fog area and this is where I can bring in lifelike fog to my photos. So I can see up top here that I already have a little bit of fog on my image. So I'm gonna go down into my position and make sure that it's top half fast. Now if I pull up on this amount, it will bring some fog into my photo. So I'll bring in a little bit of fog And then I'm going to head down to my transition here and I'm going to pull up on it so that it blends a little bit more with my image. And I could probably remove just a little bit more of that fog. There we go. So now let's go up to our weather filter opacity and I tend to lower it down to zero and then I'll just incrementally pull it up until I like what it's doing to my photo. So now if we hit the backslash key in our keyboard, In not a lot of time, we've really taken that dull image and brought it to life. 